Jason Tatum adding to his legend, drops 50, and for the seventh consecutive year, the Boston Celtics have reached the postseason. The Boston Celtics advanced to the playoffs after taking down the Washington Wizards with a 118 to 100 victory. It was a tight contest at halftime as the Wizards held on to a two point lead. But in the second, the Celtics played connected as they were able to pull away and won the game on the defensive side of the floor and with Jason Tatum's monster 50 point performance. Now with the Celtics locked in as the seventh seed and advancing to the playoffs, they proved that they were able to overcome many obstacles this season to get to this point. I just wanted to be aggressive tonight. Um, and, you know, we got the, them in the bonus early in a couple of those quarters. Once I seen that, you know, just trying to put the pressure on the defense and the refs. He was really aggressive early, but he missed a few on Lynn as he drove it deep. And you could tell he was anxious to have a good night. It was really important to our guys to play well. You know, again, I, I give our guys a ton of credit. Um, it has not always been roses, right? Like, and, and they've had to answer a bunch of stuff and it has been hard missing people all year. Our guys have just stayed with it and they've just stuck together. And if they wouldn't have, you wouldn't have seen them play like they did tonight. Jason was special, man. He was, he was unbelievable. I mean, it ain't, it ain't new to me, you know? Um, been watching this, this guy putting this kind of work for the, you know, over the last year or so. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm here for the ride. It's, it's fun, you know? I'm, it's always exciting to see him to see him go off the way he go off. So, you know, we're going to need that throughout this whole run. As for injury updates, Marcus Smart twisted his ankle but came right back and played the rest of the game. And post-game, Brad Stevens said he expects him to be sore tomorrow but has a weird feeling that Smart will be ready to go for practice on Thursday. And as for Rob Williams, he hyperextended his toe. He tried to come back and play, but Stephen said the plan is that he will get treatment and they'll have to wait and see what happens after that when the Celtics face off against the Nets on Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern.